All right, guys, you asked for more content about Microsoft Teams. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do meeting countdown timers inside of Microsoft Teams using OBS. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, so first of all, to add countdown timers into Microsoft Teams, we can simply use OBS and the virtual webcam feature. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. There's a plugin for OBS that allows you to manage countdown timers. I'm going to show you where to get it and how to use it. But first, let me just ask you guys, hit that subscribe button. A lot of people watch our channel. They don't hit the subscribe button and they miss a lot of stuff. So Hit the subscribe button and comment below if you're using Microsoft Teams and you're interested in learning more because that makes us want to make more videos for Microsoft Teams. So let's take a look at how to build this countdown timer. Now, the cool thing is, is that you're going to have a free download uh, below to get this little like meeting template and everything you need to get started. I've got an easy way to do this and a little bit more advanced way to do it. It's a little bit more complicated, but you can decide which way you'd like to go. So what do you need in order to get this done? Well, first of all, you're going to need the countdown timer plugin. Well, actually, I step back. You don't need that if you just get the countdown timer videos that I'm going to show you guys in a moment here. So I am going to show you guys how to get the countdown timer files, and you can download those for free. And those files can be used very simply and easily. So we have these countdown timers. Uh, they've got, there's different types and you can download these for free. And the simplest, easiest way to get that countdown timer into Teams is to just share it. And I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but we can also use these with the chroma key inside of OBS. That's a, a secondary easy way. And then the third way is the custom countdown timers, which I think is really the best way. And so we'll look at all of those. So what's the simple, easy way? Well, if you've got a Teams meeting, and you hit the share button, you can choose to share. Now you have to open the file that you want to share. And we can, let's go ahead and hit that uh, share button again here. Let's just hit the share real quick. And now we are sharing the my entire screen, which happens to have in Microsoft Teams the ability to show that. So. Again, with the share button, now we're sharing that into Microsoft Teams. So that's the easiest way. You share that content, you click the button, and boom, you're sharing it. Very easy to do that. The next way is a little bit more complex, but it's the cool way to do this. And the better way is to connect OBS with Teams in order to bring a virtual overlay into. OBS. So how does that work? Well, inside of OBS, there is now a virtual camera feature, and this is for Mac or PC. And you can start and stop it. And when you start it, anything you have inside of OBS is being, you can put inside of Microsoft Teams. So let's show how that works really quickly. So first of all, when you set up a meeting, in your device settings, you're going to want to choose OBS virtual camera. Now, when you do that, inside of OBS, anything you show in OBS will show up in Teams. Let me put make Teams large in the background here. So when I switch between multiple OBS scenes, you can see here that the video source is switching inside of Teams. So it's just it's a virtual webcam. I know that's kind of a new thing for a lot of people. It's a virtual webcam. It's very powerful. And we can use it to do a couple different things. So the first thing I want to do really quickly is just bring in a countdown timer. So you can see here now, there's this countdown timer. Now it's mirrored. So that's the first thing you're probably going to come into contact with with these. And you're just going to want to go ahead and mirror your content. Do that by just flipping it. There we go. Got it to the right size. Because 
That's something I do, I still actually personally need to test. It may only look mirrored to you and not your far end. So that's just one thing to, to consider. I need to test that myself with someone on the far end. But in this way, you can set up a filter and we can set up a Luma key. And what we can do is, oh, I'm sorry, not a Luma key, a chroma key. Color key, they call it. And we'll set up a blue color key. And what this does is this allows us to have like a transparent overlay on top of your video, whether it's your webcam, kind of over here as the secondary camera. Um, and you can see over in Teams, we've got this nice countdown timer. So this is, this is the secondary kind of nice way to do it in OBS. But I prefer a different way in OBS, which is the ability to have, sorry, we'll connect to Teams in a second here, the ability to have a countdown timer. And that is with a plugin called OBS Lua. Advanced Timer 5.0. I really like this, this timer. What it does is it's a script and you just follow the instructions to install it. Once it's installed in scripts inside of OBS, and I have uh, that available as well on how to install it and everything in the blog post. So the blog post that's included will show you how to install it and we'll have a whole guide as well. But once it's installed, Essentially, you can have a couple different modes. You can count down, you can count up, you can count to a specific time. So if you know for a fact that you know your time is X, Y, Z, it's showing up mirrored again. Uh, and I'll explain the reason why I did that is because uh, I wanted it to just show up in T Microsoft Teams in, so that it wasn't mirrored just for the pictures and everything for this tutorial. But we do need, you do need to check on the far end by joining this meeting with a secondary device and check to see if it mirrors it for the far end. But essentially, in this countdown timer, you can count down, you can create a duration of seconds, and then you choose the, the text source inside of OBS. So I have time two as my source down here in my uh, title here. Now, also included in the downloads, I have some countdown timers. Let's do these a little larger here. So I have some clocks that you can use and you can pull into OBS, which is what I've done here. So I've basically got a PNG file, a text file. Oh, you can lock OBS uh, sources, by the way. It's always a good thing to do. And then you can install the uh, script for controlling the text and turning it into a stop start countdown timer, which then using the virtual audio cable outputs directly into Microsoft Teams. Does that make sense? Please let me know in the comments below. I'm trying my best to create great content for Microsoft Team users. I hope this is helpful. Again, I'm going to outline everything in a blog post, so it's going to be step by step. You can download a guide along with all of these files in the links below. I hope this was helpful. I think it will be for a lot of you guys. If you like this type of Microsoft Teams content, let me know. You won't become a video production expert overnight, so hit that subscribe button. It helps us know what type of content that you like. Thanks, guys. Bye.